it's strawberry season. I'm making a strawberry shortcake recipe, one of my personal favorites. Slice up one and three quarters pounds of strawberries. I'm just quartering them. As delicious and fragrant and ripe as you can find. Add three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt, not in the recipe. Ruh -roh. And then these just need to macerate and they can do that while you're baking your biscuits to serve them on. Here I have three cups of all-purpose flour and I'm adding three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, half a cup of granulated sugar, and four teaspoons of baking powder. It seems like a lot, I know, and I'm usually really careful about these things. Biscuits and shortcakes have a little bit of a higher amount of baking powder than, say, a cookie. So, that's why it's so much. When your dry ingredients are combined, add 12 tablespoons of cold, unsalted butter cut into small pieces. Then whisk half a cup of heavy cream into two large eggs. Just break the eggs up in there. My, my cup's a little small, so I'm kind of afraid to be too aggressive, but I'll just do it slowly. Pulse the butter until the largest pieces are the size of small peas. I mean, you can pulse. I usually just start it and then turn it off really quickly, but that's because I like to live life on the edge. You don't want the butter breaking down too much because that's what adds layers to your biscuits and your shortcake. So leave kind of biggish chunks. And then add your cream egg mixture and pulse just until a dough starts to form. It's very important that you don't overwork dose like this, otherwise they're tough. You're basically looking for all of the dry ingredients to be moist and for it to hold together when you press them between your fingers, but not much more than that. Maybe a couple more pulses than this. Good. Okay. Today I'm going to bake these on an unlined baking sheet. Use a half cup measure to measure out your dough. Sort of pack it in, don't press too hard, but pack it into a half cup measure to form them. And then you just bang them out onto a baking sheet. You'll make about eight biscuits. And then just press them down. This is a nice way to get even shortcakes. Make sure your oven's preheating to 375 degrees, and you'll wanna bake these until they're puffed and cooked through and golden brown on top, about 20 minutes. No shortcake would be complete without some delicious whipped cream. Make your own, please. You don't have to do it by hand like I am. You can do it with a mixer, but it's so much better than stuff in a can, and it's certainly better than that stuff in a tub. You know what I'm talking about. Lightly sweeten your whipped cream with a little bit of sugar. How much is up to you? Take one of your cooled biscuits, cut it in half. Ooh, crumbly. Some berries. And there's gonna be some juice in the bottom of your berry bowl. Make sure you get a little bit of that. And then a little spoon of whipped cream. And just like that, you have dessert. It's a delicious treat. One of my personal favorites, strawberry shortcake. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.